Welcome back dears. Uh, today we are going to discuss transition graphs and uh, the transition graphs are actually uh, a form of uh, you know uh, actually the finite state automata is also a transition graph. But finite state automata is a strict form of transition graph and transition graph has if you uh, have certain concession as well. So finite automata is also a transition graph, but finite automata is a strict form and the transition graph has certain concessions. And what are those concessions? The first concession is that transition graph it may be non-deterministic. So you know what is non-determinism? Like here it is, we draw a transition graph. And here if you have this scenario that for single letter A, you have two options. You can stay at state 2 or you can move to state 2. So this is called non-determinism that you are confused for a single letter at the given state you have two path. Next transition graph may have multiple start states like uh, this is a start state, this is a start state, this is a accept state. So you can have multiple start states. The third is you can read more than one letter during transitions. Like here you start and you can read more than one letter like you read double A. So this, this concession is also available in transition graph. And the fourth is if you do not find the path for a given letter of a string, it means the input is rejected. Like here you do not find the path for the letter B. So if your string contains the letter B, it means that string must be rejected. And finally, uh, it is easy to draw because you have so many concessions, but harder to read because uh, you will be confused whether to read a single letter or multiple letters, and you will also be confused due to its non-determinism. So let's see some examples in the next slides. So here we have a transition graph and this is a string and we have to pass this string through this transition graph. Let's see if we read this string this way like I say B then I read A then I read A. So single letter at a time then what will happen for this B I will move here then for this A I will move here and for third A I will stay here. So this string will be rejected if you read single letter at a time. So let's do something else. Let's say uh, I do read it this way like first I read one letter then I read two letters. Now for this B I can stay here and then for this double A I can move to the accepting state. So this thing will be rejected if we read it this way. And if we do it this way that I read two letters first, then A. So here for B, A, I do not find any path, so it will also be rejected. So let's see an other example for a transition graph. And here you have this string. And this string can be passed through this transition graph in two ways. The first way is you read two letters, then two letters. For these two letters, you read come here for these letters you come here and the other ways you read three letters first then you read a single letter so for first three letters you read here come here then for second B you move here so next we see another example and here you know uh, this string will be accepted and this will not be accepted how first we will read three letters so I move here then I take this free ride because for null transition you can take free ride so I move towards to state 3 without any reason and then after these three letters I read uh, uh, this, this double A letter so from 3 I move back to state number 1 then I read this B so I move to state number 4 and this is accepting state so it is accept but this string will not be accepted because for this string what will happen let's check 
uh, for this thing if you read uh, you will read th three letters so we move to the state number two then we take null transition we move to state number three then you read a single letter a so you move here then you do not find any path for letter b here so it will be rejected so next see uh, let's see another example in the next slide this is also our tg here you have multiple start states this one this one this one so it can accept a it can accept b and it can accept a b a and here you have sometimes you can uh, remove the null transitions from the transition graph like here this is not needed you can simply remove this null transition because it's not serving any purpose but here you cannot remove this null transition because it means this a and this b are optional uh, you can the string can be accepted with or without these patterns like if you have double a it will be accepted like you moved here then you took free write using null you came here then for next a you reach here but if you have three a's then uh, for the first a you move here for second a you use this a transition not null then for third a you use this a transition and you got accepted so we cannot remove this null because this null makes it optional that you can take free write or you can use the, this a transition next we see this even even language and uh, in even even language this is the balanced state that a and b are even this is unbalanced state so if you get double a or double b you stay in the balanced state but if you get a single a and single b then you know definitely a is become odd and b is become odd so you move to the unbalanced state and here again you stayed on in the unbalanced state if you get even a and even b then again you get odd b and odd a's then you move back to the balanced state again so this is it next we have you have a challenge this is a TG and you have to pass this th string through this TG and there are different options and you have to very, be very careful to choose the path because it is non deterministic and it can accept more than one letter at a time definitely there is a path available for this string that will make it acceptable but you have to search out that path so uh, accept this challenge and uh, stay tuned for the next lectures